Okay, uh, welcome to everybody. Today we will derive the normal distributions uh, from the Poisson distributions. Uh, actually, this is the uh, this is the continuous probability distributions. Uh, we must know uh, about probability distribution from our previous lectures. And there are seven types of probability distribution uh, for continuous probability distributions, and seven types discrete discrete probability distributions. So today we will uh, discussing the example of uh, continuous probability distributions, normal distribution, and try to derive this normal distribution from Poisson distributions. So the continuous, this is actually example of continuous probability distribution uh, and derivation of normal distribution as a limiting case of Poisson distribution. The normal distribution is the limiting form of Poisson distribution when it satisfies two conditions, when M tends to infinity. M is actually mean of Poisson distribution and X is the success. Uh, so X is successor, X tends to infinity. Then pro, uh, by the definition of uh, Poisson distribution, we can write uh, probability density function for uh, Poisson distribution, probability of X equals to e to the power minus M, M to the power X divided by X factorial, where X equals to uh, zero, one, two up to infinity. Okay, then M, M is the actually mean and P is the probability of Probability density function. Now we know a Starling approximation x factorial can be written as by using Starling approximation x factorial equals to root over twice pi e to the power minus x x to the power x plus half for x tends to infinity. We can write uh, this factorial. Uh, this is also uh, known as famous Starling approximation. Now from equation one, this is the equation number one. Uh, uh, taking limit on both sides. Okay, limit will be what? M tends to infinity and X tends to infinity of probability X can be written as the uh, M limit M tends to infinity e to the power minus M and M to the power X, M to the power X and X factorial what will be? This is the X factorial, okay? This X factorial. Now, this can be written as uh, equals to limit m tends to infinity, m tends to infinity, e to the power minus m and e to the power minus x can be written as what? e to the power x minus m, okay? e to the power x minus m, uh, root over twice pi, root over twice pi. And here we can write m to the power x, m to the power x, and we can uh, dividing by m on both numerator and denominator, we, multiplying uh, by m with both numerator and denominator, we can write root over twice by m here, and another m, root m will be what? m to the power x plus half, okay? And this is x to the power x, uh, x plus half. So m by x to the power x plus half. This uh, m to the power half is extra, but another m to the power half is here. So this and this will be balanced. Now, this probability density function can be written as one by root over twice phi m is the constant part. So and limit m tends to infinity e to the power x minus m. Okay, m to the m by x, and there is a mistake, it will be x minus m, remember it, and m by x, x to the power plus half. And this is equation number two. Now, and again, consider psi equals to this function, e to the power m, uh, x minus m into m by x, x plus half will be what? Psi, okay? Now, considering z equals to z variate, x minus m divided by root m, okay? m is the mean here, and root m is the actually standard deviation. So z equals to x minus m divided by root over m can be written as by cross multiplication, x minus m equals to z into root over m. So x equals to what? m plus root over z root m. Now dividing by, uh, now inverting x divided by, dividing by m on both sides, okay? Dividing by m on both sides, we get x by m, okay? x by m. So x by m equals to what? One plus z by root m. Now inverting this whole part, uh, that means taking inverse on both sides, m divided by x equals to one plus z by root m whole to the power minus one. So this is m by x values, m by x values, we can write one plus z by root m and m minus, x minus m value what? Z, z root m, okay, z root m. Okay, this is m minus x, this is a typing mistake. So this will be m minus x, x minus m, 
and this value what will be z of to the power root over m so x equals to what m plus z root m x equals to what m plus z root m from the left we are putting all values of x and z okay and it can it convert to z term okay so taking log on both sides log psi equals to log this whole actually this multiply this there are two term you must know log m n equals to log m plus log n just using this identity for log log z e to the power uh, this plus log this okay so log e means what cancelled remember it log e z to the power root m over m is this one so plus log this will be power okay this power comes before the log power multiply log this using this identity okay m to the power r means what r log m so log 1 plus x formula we must know log 1 plus x formula what x minus x square by 2 plus x cube by 3 okay minus x to the power 4 by 4 in this way okay this is the series log series log 1 plus x formula now just multiplying with this we can write m multiply this what z root m okay m multiply this one will be z square by 2 okay so uh, z root m multiply this what will be only z minus z square okay this minus multiplying z square plus and all other factors containing power m in denominator okay m will be in higher denominator this why this whole series uh, approximating by the limit m tends to infinity of log psi okay taking limit we get this and this will be cancelled okay we get z square by 2 minus z square what minus half z square and all factors will be containing m in denominator will be zero because one by uh, infinity what zero because m tends to infinity so something by in infinity they suppose this divided by infinity will be zero all terms will be become zero after m tends to infinity so psi equals to we can write removing log we can take exponential function on both sides so psi equals to e to the power minus z square by 2 that means z equals to what was z equals to x minus m divided by root over m okay x minus m divided by root over m just putting values of z we can we get what e to the power minus x by x minus m divided by twice m so the from equation 2 this was the psi values okay psi values from equation 2 we can write this probability density function equals to 1 by root 2 phi m root 2 phi m okay e to the power minus this and x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity so if we put x minus m root over m divided by this equals to uh, x minus mu mu is the actually mean and sigma is the actually standard deviation okay for normal distribution since mean and variance for Poisson distribution are same remember it important properties mean and variance will be same that means m equals to what sigma square so this is the actual uh, probability density function for for normal distribution okay so we get uh, the required probability density function for normal distribution will be f of x equals to one by sigma root over twice pi e to the power minus half x minus mu divided by sigma whole square where x lies between minus infinity to plus infinity and which is the actually required probability density function of the normal distribution with mean mu and variance sigma square remember it now we have to find out uh, the uh, mean of normal distribution we must know the probability density function for um, normal distribution is one by sigma root over twice by e to the power minus this okay into x so mean will be actually x into f of x x into f of x so my, and the lim integral limit will be minus infinity to plus infinity sigma is the actually standard deviation and x multiplied here because mean equals to integ integral limit x into f of x remember it uh, uh, so uh, this is the uh, now putting x by sigma equals to t x by sigma equals to t and then we can write uh, 1 by sigma root over twice by minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power what will be t minus half t square and 
differentiating on both sides dx equals to what will be sigma dt okay dx equal to differentiating here because sub after substitution in integration we have to substitute the and we have to differentiate also dx equals to what will be sigma dt so dx equals to sigma dt and x equals to what t sigma okay x equals to t sigma so all uh, here x removed by substituting this so this can be written as actually sigma square one sigma will be cancelled with this so sigma divided by root over twice pi and integral limit will be minus infinity to plus infinity t into here t into e to the power minus t square by 2 dt okay this can be written as this one actually what odd function you must know if this is the odd function by the properties of definite integral this will values will be what zero this is why mean equals to zero mean for the normal distribution what will be zero now another one standard deviation for normal distribution what will be so standard deviation and raw moment second raw moment same second raw moment equals to what uh, integration x square f of x dx this is the formula and mean will be what x f of x dx remember it so second uh, raw moments equals to minus infinity to plus infinity x square and this is the formula of what normal distribution we have derived earlier now putting x square by 2 sigma square equals to what t substituting x square divided by 2 sigma square equals to t So dx equal to what will be differentiating on both sides dx will be root over 2 sigma and t to the power half half minus 1 half into t to the power half minus 1 that means half minus 1 uh, what will be t to the power minus half meter minus, minus half means what 1 by t to the power half now putting all these values dx values and x values in this integration okay this integration will be x square what will be x square means this is square okay this square means what two sigma square t okay and one by sigma root over twice by e to the power x square what will be two sigma square t okay two sigma square t and two sigma square two sigma square two sigma square will be cancelled now dx values what will be dx values will be this whole okay this one now after from this uh, minus infinity plus infinity two is sigma square t and one by sigma root over twice by and this will be 2 sigma square, 2 sigma square cancel. So e to the power minus t will be. Okay, it will be. Now root over 2 sigma 2 t to the power half dt. Okay. Now we have to integrate it uh, with respect to t. Now after this line, uh, 2 sigma square and sigma root over twice pi and root over 2 sigma also on constant and these two also constant. So minus infinity to plus infinity t to the power t to the power half okay there are another t so taking all t uh, same base uh, this is why a t to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 and e to the power minus t okay actually this is the uh, by the definition of gamma function this is the gamma we can use uh, this formula 0 to infinity x to the power n minus 1 e to the power minus x dx what will be gamma n by the definition of gamma function remember it gamma uh, function we can use this here so this minus infinity to plus infinity integration can be writ written as zero to infinity two times okay because by the properties of definite integral we can write down this so this t to the power three by two minus one e to the power minus t dt now sigma square gamma root, root over phi and uh, this sigma square uh, sigma square sigma will be cancelled so sigma, uh, sigma square divided by root over phi two into this equals to wh what will be gamma three by two by using this one this is the n in replace of n here 3 by 2 okay so this is gamma 3 by 2 you must know gamma 3 by 2 means what half into gamma half okay half into gamma half and uh, gamma half equals to actually root over phi we have uh, learned it from definite integral uh, gamma half equals to root over phi so root over phi root over phi will be cancelled so sigma square so 
gamma 2 uh, mu 2 that means um, correct corrected second corrected moments equals to uh, using the relationship between raw moments and corrected moments uh, second corrected moments equals to second raw moments minus first raw moments whole square so uh, we have found mu second raw moments equals to sigma square but first raw moments equals to zero because first raw moments means what mean mean was what zero so uh, we get actually mu, uh, second corrected moment equals to sigma square but remember that second corrected moments will give the what variance second corrected moment will give the variance so a standard deviation will be what square root over variance that means what sigma sigma will be the standard deviation